Okay, a snake owes me money. What does that mean? Um, am I mad at a market maker for uh, stealing some shares from me? Um, I'm mad at one of our members uh, over over a subscription, something like that. Uh, actually, believe it or not, um, I'm actually mad at a snake. Um, first time in history, a snake cost me money while trading. All right, uh, first solar here. This is exactly what it looked like. These. Uh, let me show you the opening five-minute candle. The opening high was right there. And then one of our members pointed out the volume, put it on my radar, and when it was coming up near the high of the day, uh, I can't remember if I had this on the projector for the room or not, but it certainly was pointing out first solar um, and talking about how it could move if it breaks the high of the day, okay? Um, I was filling out a trade order form when I got a panicked knock on my office door here, my home office, and uh, I had to turn off the mic and put everybody on hold, including myself, and uh, my wife, was letting me know there's a snake out by the pool. We have a screened in lanai. I don't know how it got in there. We don't have any openings big enough for it to get in there. And we had uh, one of our cats was out there and they were uh, they were facing off. And so it was somewhat of an emergency and I'm not much of a snake wrangler, but I was today. So anyway, when I came back from um, solving that dilemma, First Solar looked about like, well, didn't take me that long. First Solar looked about like this. So the high of day break, um, which would have been what 1426 um, was almost 15 in 10 minutes and ended up going uh, all the way over 1540 at one point. The beauty of this was you take this on the high of day break. We all know First Solar uh, was overdue for a bounce anyway, but uh, makes nice moves every now and then lately. Um, the beauty of this was the high of day break um, was also a break of Friday's high or that same area and there wasn't a lot to the left until up here. Um, couple that with the fact that it was only in a 20 something cent range. So you can literally take a high of day break and put your stop all the way at the low of the day. So this is going to have to rip through the high and roll over and rip through the low for you to lose money or for you to be wrong. So anyway, um, I don't know what to do now. Do I? And, and I didn't kill him, uh, but maybe I take a uh, shovel outside and go hunt him down because he cost me a lot of money today. That would have been a super nice trade and money in your pocket pretty quickly. The rest of the day isn't much to talk about, so I'm going to make it brief. APKT gapped up on uh, Friday, it's one that's been decimated, and then sold off a little bit, but then put in this tight base here. So it looked like this, uh, one of my trade ideas was over this base, 1616 entry stop below the base, and it went uh, to 1630, and really just never did anything else. Um, so I got sandwich money out of that one. Um, I played with a couple low price stocks today, I called ATPG, when it looked like this, Another one I missed because I had a contractor here, so I was in and out. But my, my call for the room was 316. Um, I can't remember. Worst case stop, 310. There's the trigger through the high of the day and ended up going to uh, over 330. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but percentage-wise, um, that was a pretty nice move. I was watching SVU all day for a bounce. In other words, a break of its early high. Um, never made a call in it, and then all of a sudden it did this spike. Um, so I ended up calling it on the pullback using two minute candles just like I teach whenever you get a volume spike. Didn't quite take out the high of the day here. Um, so my idea was SVU on twos, 244, which is right here, worst case stop, 238. From 244, you did get through the high of the day, 244 to 259. That's, again, doesn't seem like much, but a nice percentage move and plenty liquid. These are two minute candles here and uh, a couple of them were a million shares in two minutes. So there's plenty of liquidity there to trade that one. Um, all right, and then Green Mountain Coffee. Let me try that again. I'll try it one more time. Um, GMCR, I had one uh, trying to get bottom feed here. I had one call that triggered and failed, and then I had a secondary call, um, which was right here, long, that triggered and worked. Um, neither one of them were big. Uh, both of them were pretty tight stops. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. It was just one of those days. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot. Um, and again, uh, my fault, but I was in and out today as well. Oh yeah, OCZ, one of our members, Vin, pointed this one out because um, I had talked about it in pre-market that this one was overdue for a bounce. Gap down, few red days, um, and then when it was near the high of the day, this is one that uh, over the high of day, 441, I put a stop at 432. It did hold the stop by a penny um, and ended up going to 450 something. So I don't usually end up calling too many of these lower price stocks, and today I ended up with SVU, ATPG, and OCZ. It's really not the kind of chat room we are. I usually deal with stocks between, oh, five and 70 bucks is kind of my, my comfort zone. Um, 
But aside from what I showed you here, I don't think I made any other calls today. Um, again, I was in and out a little bit. So looking forward to the rest of the week. I'm sure we'll have a pretty good week. Um, today was just weird, starting with a snake and uh, and uh, ending with not too many calls. So, all right, I'm headed off to go. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really going to kill him. But if I see him again, I'm going to use harsh language. All right, talk to you later.